Hey guys, welcome back to the Golang with Postgres project series. And in this video, we are going to be working on our get book by ID function. But before that, before that, out here, we did write our uh, migration function, migrate books, but we never called it. So we'll have to do that now. So we'll say error is equal to models dot migrate books pass db, db basically being the new connection. So when you now look at this migrate books uh, function, everything becomes clear because it's taking in db, right? And db was created here, which is the new connection, which is from this function, new connection. So you pass db here and you handle the error. So it's if error is not equal to nil, you'll say log.fatal could not migrate db. All right, so now the most important function, which is get books by ID. So come here above your set, set up routes function. And here you say func get book by ID. Now, as you know, this is not a simply a function. It is a struct method. So you have R and then you have repository. This takes in context, which is of type fiber.ctx, returns an error. Okay, so firstly, when we wanna get a book by ID, obviously need the ID, and ID is going to come from context.params as we have seen in the delete function. Okay, so with fiber context, you can easily access all the parameters. So you'll capture that in a variable called ID. Let's create book model. It's of type models.books. By models.books, we mean this struct out here and we'll check if id is an empty string as in nothing was passed in the id then that means there's obviously a problem so we'll say context dot status http dot status internal server error dot json percent fiber dot map and your message will be ID cannot be empty. Return nil. And you'll say fmt dot print ln. The ID is comma ID. So whatever ID you've received, you're just checking. Um, I'm just putting this line here to check you know, if the ID is received properly or what the ID is, just to be sure. It's completely optional as in you can put comments here. If you don't want to write this line, it's okay. But usually when I have uh, an update function or a get book by ID function, I usually print out the ID so that I know that you know this function is receiving the ID and everything's working perfectly. So here you'll say r dot db dot bear so where id is equal to question mark comma id you'll get that book so it's a book model so where id is id the id that you've received here in this function then you get that book okay and if error is not equal to nil Say context dot status http dot status bad request dot json. This is why I hate extensions using those Golang extension guys because it tries anything, it tries anything that I don't want to write. So you'll say fiber dot map and you'll write the message. Everything went well, there was no error, then you want to uh, give a 200 status. So how do you give a 200 status? You say context.status and you say to be dot status, okay, dot json. 
ampersand fiber dot map and here you'll say message book ID fetched successfully comma data book model return news. Okay, so that completes your uh, main file as well. Now is the time to start running our program and seeing from Postman uh, if any issues come up. Before we do that, I just realized that our end file is empty. So here, I'll have to create my host uh, similar to similar to this host port password. And these basically these variables need to be there in your environment file. So we'll have db host is equal to localhost and your db port. So your um, Postgres usually runs on 5.4.3.2. So in my, on my machine also it's running on 5.4.3.2. You can check on your machine what it's running on. User is uphill and db password is new password. This is my user and password that I've created on my Postgres. So in case you don't know how to do this, there's a very easy article on uh, DigitalOcean on how to set up your Postgres and then go to your Postgres terminal, which is PSQL, and then just creating a user with password. Very simple and straightforward. Then you have your db underscore name is equal to fiber demo. And db underscore SSL mode so I've created this database as well okay and this collection or the table for books is created by my great books for me but this database I've already created for myself fiber demo so I was trying to run the program with go run main dot go and I got an issue right and that's because uh, the issue that I can see why it's happening is because Host, still host and port, everything is okay, but password and uh, the DB name is actually coming as new password, which is supposed to be my password. And SSL mode is coming as fiber demo, which is supposed to be my DB name. So there's a mix up that's happening here. And I have kind of found the issue. It's because after host and port, it should have been by user, which is percentage s. And that's how the user will come. So it's host, port, user, password db name and ssl mode that's how it should have been now if we run our program everything should be fine so it takes a um, as in it, it's running as you can see right if it shows you this fiber um, on the screen that means it's running okay so make sure you see this fiber screen and then we'll start now testing it on our postman. So in our postman, I have created create, get all, delete, and delete, get by ID uh, already there, my um, requests. So for create request, it's post, and it's on localhost 8080, it's running. So as you can see here, it's running on 8080, okay? API slash create books. Now I can send the name of anything. So here I've just written a very random thing, but let's say author is, um, I don't know, um, I'm just writing anything right now. Then <laughs> it. That's what just came to my mind. Title is the stream publisher is blah blah. So you send it, and it creates. It says book has been added. Now to see that book, you open up your get all, and you see that. Uh, earlier, when I was testing this program out, these books were added, and now this new book, Linlivet, with the stream, blah blah, has been added as well. And I know this. This is ID eight. So what I can do is I can get this by ID. So I'll just copy and paste it out here. And let's see what happens. Yeah, so it gets the right book for me, which is ID eight. Similarly, for delete, also let me try and delete this book. So it says book deleted successfully. And when I get all, I will see that the eighth book, which is the Glenlivet book, it's not there. 
So all the APIs are working perfectly and the code is uh, working perfectly with Postgres. We've used Postgres, we've used Fiber, and everything works perfectly. And I'll put, put this code on GitHub as well. So if you have any issues somewhere, you can compare it with that. And I'm always there on LinkedIn and uh, you can connect with me or you can put a comment on YouTube if you get uh, lost somewhere, I can help you out. Thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe to this channel because you get to see such awesome content, right? Nowhere else on YouTube you'll get awesome content like this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.